Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. In this episode, I'm going to go ahead and start off by equipping on Roxas that ability ring. Even though we don't have any more abilities that would necessitate wearing that, I have a feeling, without spoiling anything, that Roxas might want to wear it before he has to go. But we're going to start things off with a cutscene. Look at what it's come to. I've been given these icky orders to destroy you, if you refuse to come back with me. We're... best friends, right? Sure, but I'm not getting turned into a dusk for... Wait a sec. You remember now? He... yeah. Great! But, you know, gotta make sure and all, so, uh... Um... What's our boss's name? Oh, can't believe this. I'll talk a little more about that scene we just had with Axel in a minute after this fight is over, but this fight is what I want to focus on right now. In the original version of Kingdom Hearts 2, I believe you actually had to defeat all of the enemies to progress past the fight, but I'm pretty sure some of the fights in Final Mix have had their requirements changed. I think if you go below a certain amount of HP in this fight, you'll go on no matter what. So either way, I think this fight is impossible to lose. I'm not entirely sure. I would rather just go ahead and beat all of the enemies. Well, well, there we go. I guess I'm gonna get knocked out, and I guess that proves my point right there. Roxas, to the mansion. The time has come. Painter! Pence! Olette! Unfortunately, in this case, yelling Hainer, Pence, and Olette is not going to help Roxas, but like that voice from the sky ordered, we're going to make our way to the mansion. The Roxas that I know is long gone. Fine. I see how it is. If you're really hurting for nobodies to fight for that level 99 Roxas challenge, you're kind of running out of chances, so I recommend taking your time around Twilight Town and fighting the nobodies, even though that little bit of time is going to be like at least 200 hours. But as far as Axel and Roxas go, that whole story is really sad, but I don't really get Axel's attitude. He thinks that Roxas is intentionally not remembering him for some reason, and if you're wondering what connection Axel and Roxas have exactly, that is covered pretty much in detail in 358 on the DS, which I'll get to later on. But everything that happened in 358 is kind of coming to a head right now, and basically Axel has been ordered to eliminate Roxas, so that's why he's so desperate for Roxas to remember. But here we're going to be getting yet another cutscene. Don't call me and then lock me out. And it took a while, but here we are finally in the mansion over here in Twilight Town. And I almost said the Shinra Mansion because it reminds me a lot of the Shinra Mansion from Final Fantasy VII. And I just realized it's probably nothing, but both games were made by, you know, Squaresoft, that company anyway. I don't know if Kingdom Hearts 2 was Squaresoft or Square Enix, but these mansions are fairly similar. I mean, actually, other than the fact that they both have two stories, there's not really too much about them other than the fact that they're kind of mysterious. But anyway, there are a lot of treasure chests in here. And when you're collecting a treasure chest, even though I've said that it is a good thing that you can open treasure chests when there are enemies in the area, and it is, if you're opening a treasure chest, 
and an enemy hits you, I don't know if you continue to open the treasure chest, but you can take damage if you get hit by an enemy while opening the chest. But once we go through this door over here, there will be yet another cutscene. Your mind's made up? Why did the Keyblade choose me? I have to know. You can't turn on the organization! Organization 13. They're a bad group. Bad or good? I don't know. They're a group of incomplete people, who wish to be whole. To that end, they're desperately searching for something. What? Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Funny? It's just... I think... I've been running away from the question I really want to ask. What's gonna happen to me now? Just tell me that. Nothing else really matters anymore. You are... Nominate! There's no knowledge that has the power to change your fate. Even if it doesn't, I want to know. I have the right to know. A nobody doesn't have a right to know. Nor does it even have the right to be. But what is a nobody? Is. We're out of time. Too many nobodies. Roxas, nobodies like us are only half a person. You won't disappear. You'll be whole. I'll disappear? No further outbursts. No, you won't disappear. You'll... Wait! We will meet again, and then we can talk about everything. I may not know it's you, and you may not know it's me, but we will meet again, someday soon. I promise! Let her go! Nominate! Now, while these sketches are very important because we would not be able to progress in the game without them, they also give us a map, even though it's not really necessary to have a map in this area other than like consistency's sake because we will be getting maps in pretty much every other area there's like two more rooms in the level here so we don't really need to use it that much but i did just get hit by an enemy there and i continued to open the chest but you could see that i also took damage so you do have to be kind of careful The first time I saw that, I thought that was a really cool thing. Like, you finish that drawing, and a weird science lab area opens up down here. But here's gonna be our second to last chest in this area. And once we go through this door over here, we'll be getting even more cutscenes.
Why? Why do you have the Keyblade? Shut up! Will it work? If we can maintain the simulated town until Namine finishes chaining together Sora's memories. What will happen to Roxas? He holds half of Sora's power within him. In the end, he'll have to give it back. Until then, he'll need another personality to throw off his pursuers. Poor thing. It's the fate of a nobody. If you're wondering, I thought I would go ahead and speed up that little running over here to the room segment just because I thought it would flow better. But here we have four dusks to fight, and here the one-two reverse thing really works. Because with dusks, if you do that reversal attack or reaction command, it freezes all of them. So if you get two attacks in and get a reversal in, you can just completely, like, indefinitely attack, I guess, is the best way to put it. But eventually, and I guess they have spawned already, we get assassins that spawn. We fought one of these earlier in the episode, but we didn't really get to fight it because once I took enough damage, it just kicked me out of the fight. But they're a lot harder, I think, than Dust, as they, you know, are supposed to be. They have, it looks like they have less health, but they are certainly stronger than an ordinary Dust. Now, speaking of nobodies, I think it's pretty clear at this point that Roxas was part of Organization 13, and I almost died there. But I think it's even more obvious now why Axel was sad, you know, that he would have to eliminate Roxas, because he was once part of the organization, and Axel's mission was to get Roxas to return. But that's basically, I don't want to go too much more in detail, but I hope that shines a little bit more light on that, because now we're going to be getting a scene with Axel and Roxas again. Simply amazing, Roxas. Axel. You really do remember me this time. I'm so flattered! But you're too late! Now, as much as I really love Axel, and as much as Axel and Roxas are friends, I love this fight because we get the Oblivion and Oathkeeper Keyblades, and as you can see, we can completely wipe the floor with Axel. I think this really might be one of my most favorite fights, if that's grammatically correct, in the entire series. Even the reaction commands are really cool. Now, the only thing that's a little bit disappointing is that even though Roxas is like this now, by the end of 358, Roxas was like this. He was a really good fighter, probably one of the best in the series, and what a way to end the fight between Axel and Roxas. But hopefully you guys are ready for some of the best cutscenes in the game, and certainly one of the saddest.
You get on their bad side and they'll destroy you! No one would miss me. That's not true. I would. Axel. Let's meet again in the next life. Yeah, I'll be waiting. Silly. Just because you have a next life. Goofy? And make sure you get this treasure chest right here because it is the last one we will be getting as Roxas and all I have to say is I hope you guys are ready for this scene. At last, the key blades chosen one. Who are you talking to? Me? Or Sora? To half of Sora, of course. You reside in darkness. What I need is someone who can move about the realm of light and destroy Organization 13. Why? Who are you? I am a servant of the world. <laughs> and if I'm a servant, then you should consider yourself a tool at best. Was that... Was that supposed to be a joke? Cuz I'm not laughing! Ugh. My apologies. This is only a data-based projection. I hate you so much. You should share some of that hatred with Sora. He's far too nice for his own good. No! My heart belongs to me! Sora. You're lucky. Looks like my summer vacation is over. Sora! Who's there? Sammy! Sora, wake up!
Restored peace to the world. Found Kyrie. Oh yeah. And then we went to look for Riku. I think that's right so far. Fun What does your journal say, Jiminy? Gee, there's only one sentence. Thank Namine. Hmm. I wonder who that is. Uh, what, what do you say we find out where we are? In just two short hours after starting this game, we are now playing as Sora in his really small clothes, Donald and Goofy. Now, I do not believe Sora, I was going to say, I don't think he has any new abilities or anything, but from now on, we are going to be playing as Sora, and it took two hours for the title screen to come up there, but as this says, all of Roxas' abilities and money and all that has become Sora's. Now guys, this is where our adventure in Kingdom Hearts 2 truly begins, depending on your viewpoint, I guess, but I hope you guys enjoy the prologue, if you will, and Roxas' story to Kingdom Hearts 2. I want to thank you guys for watching this episode of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, and in the next episode, we will become reacquainted with Sora, Donald, and Goofy, and begin our true adventure.